The Willamette Meteorite is by far the most famous meteorite in the world, which is a centerpiece at Rose Hall at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. It weighs 15 and a half tons. It is an extraordinarily beautiful aesthetic object. It's been touched by an estimated 50 million people over the years. In 1902, Ellis Hughes discovered it in the woods and he dragged it over to his property and charged people a quarter to take a look at what he thought was a meteorite. A couple of scientists came by and verified it was a meteorite and so did a lawyer from Oregon Iron and Steel. And he saw this path going from Ellis Hughes' property to the property of Oregon Iron and Steel. He goes, wait a second, that's ours. And so he sued Ellis Hughes. Ellis Hughes lost. While it was on display at the World's Fair in Oregon, uh, um, Mrs. Dodge bought the meteorite from Oregon Iron and Steel and gave it as a gift to the American Museum of Natural History, where it's been on display for more than 100 years. I acquired the meteorite through an exchange I did with the American Museum of Natural History approximately 15 years ago. The curator of the meteorite collection was very keen to show the public what the interior structure of the meteorite looked like. And he was also very keen to acquire an exotic chunk of the planet Mars that I had. And so we did a swap and a, a little portion of the meteorite was cut off. And this specimen that's now being made available to buyers at Auctionata comes from this end piece that you can see in these images. This offering provides buyers with an opportunity to acquire a specimen that's a centerpiece exhibit in a world-renowned museum. It's not really possible to do that in other instances. You can't get a portion of the Hope Diamond. You can't get a portion of the Rosetta Stone. But you can get a portion, a small portion, of the Willamette Meteorite, the most famous meteorite in the world.